Hi, we're John and Julie Mitchell, founders of Fig and Oak. Fig and Oak was started from a dream. He and I have always talked about having a store and life got in the way, just kids and busyness and just chaos and everything. So we decided just to go for it and try to do this store that gave back to various charities and causes. What sparked that in the beginning for us was finding the banded headbands that we have in store. For each headband that you purchase, it gives back three meals. And then we found Josh with Happy Thoughts Candles, whose candles give back for suicide prevention. And so we felt pretty passionate at that point, I think, to incorporate John's handmade vintage and repurposed items that he loves to do mixed with these items that give back for various charities and causes. We came up with the idea, I think, just as a need that we wanted to open a store, like Julie said, and we had considered just being a home goods store, and it would be mostly my handmade and repurposed items. The more we started searching and seeing that there are a lot of different companies out there that do give back, we thought it would be a neat idea to try to fill a store with those items, and then my stuff would be just, you know, sprinkled in the displays, they'd be used for accents, and and um, it would also then be an outlet for me to sell the stuff that I make. Most of the items in the store at this point um, are all give back items that give back to various charities and causes. So we have several different companies now that we're working with that give back for clean water, suicide prevention, um, clean hygiene efforts, schools, uh, meals for children, just various different causes and charities. To touch on the give back, the items that don't give back through the companies, so the handmade, repurposed, uh, and then the other companies that we get uh, that don't give back, upon uh, purchase of those items, and that they get to choose that their proceeds will go towards. Um, so it doesn't cost the customer anything extra, it's just something that, that we will give back a portion of the sale. The products that we sell in the store are, are quite a range of things. We uh, kind of have went against what they say, like, you can't have a store that has something for everyone, but we kind of hope that they can help us, that we just kind of have some things for gentlemen, some things for ladies, we just have you know, some things for kids just a nice variety of, of things, some things you won't be able to find because they're one of a kind of items that you can't get anywhere else and other items, you know, are just more about the purpose. So I guess in closing, uh, you know, we are just very grateful for the, the support of the, the community and we know that our reach so far is, is actually very has been very small in, in our community alone and we know that there's so many more people out there that haven't even heard of us and so it's it's our hope that we can you know get our our purpose out there that we are a shop with purpose and uh, the more people that we can get in the doors the more the more lives we can affect through their purchases are passionate about doing something. I wear this Fear Not bracelet nearly every single day from Mud Love. Um, just to remind me that sometimes you just have to take the plunge and just do your best and hope for the best and uh, just have live in faith and fear not. <laughs>